The product strategy, what is it and how can you use it to grow your property consultancy? That's what we're discussing in this video. Now, when most people think about growing the business, they automatically think that that means just getting a bunch of new customers. The problem with this is that unless you're a natural salesperson, then it's the hardest and most expensive strategy to use. A better option is to, to sell more to your existing customers. The reason is you don't have to keep spending money on finding new customers. You can squeeze more from the customers you already have. The other bad thing about finding new customers is it takes more staff and resources to manage those new customers, which actually ends up reducing your profits because your overheads have to increase. So selling more to your existing customers is a bit like focusing 90% of your sales efforts on existing clients and only 10% on finding new clients. And I've seen businesses double in size within 12 months just by using this one strategy. One example of this from our own businesses we had a number of clients and we, we found that they'd always complain about the company that maintained their fire alarm systems. Now, these, these were separate companies, but we seemed to get the same response from all our clients around that time. And before that point, although it was similar to what we did, we didn't provide maintenance services on these systems because we didn't have the qualifications or even the insurance cover to maintain the systems. So we, we use this product strategy and we created a specialist fire and security division in the company. We packaged together a maintenance plan. We trained our staff. We partnered with equipment manufacturers. And we got our staff set up with the specialist equipment needed. And then we sold that new product offering to our existing clients, which we had maintenance contracts with anyway. So it was easy to sell them on that, that extra service. And it had three effects on the business. The first was we grew the business and became the sole supplier of all maintenance services for our clients. They didn't have to go anywhere else for what they needed, which meant we could close the door to any external companies coming in and trying to poach our clients. And our clients were happy because they preferred buying from a single supplier because it saved them time and money. But secondly, we also attracted new clients who were, were only looking for fire alarm maintenance rather than the other services that we provided. And so th th this became a, a foot in the door with these new clients, which over time, we ended up selling other services to as well. And the third effect it had, which was the biggest, we became a named supplier. So when any, any of our clients got their buildings renovated or extensions built on them, we automatically got the contract without having to compete against other firms. So how, how can you use a product strategy to grow your property consultancy? The first thing to, to, to understand with this strategy is to learn what else your clients might want to buy. What else are they buying? What else are your competitors providing them with? And what product or service would complement what you already provide? So when you've got an idea of, of what product or service they buy, then you need to estimate how much demand there is for it. That means asking each client, if you offered this product or service at a certain price point, would they be interested in buying it? And that should tell you how much interest there'd be for it. Now, the next stage is where businesses trip up. <coughs> it's expensive and it's time consuming to create new products and services. You've got upfront investment with no certainty that, that you'll recover that investment. And with every investment into a new product or service offering, it brings risk to the business. If you get it wrong, that investment and lack of focus can end up destroying your existing business. Creating a new product offering takes so much time, it ends up being a complete distraction. And, and in most cases, the existing business ends up falling backward but it's not your superpower to go off and create new product offerings. If you haven't seen my video on the four types of company, go and watch that next to understand what I'm talking about. So how can you sell more products to your clients without creating anything new? Well, that's what we do. We create, invest in, and develop new product and service offerings. And this is our full-time job. We take care of that entire creation process. And then we work with you to deliver it to your clients. Every product we create, we're partners with you on it.
so you get the benefit of the uh, of the end result without having to create it yourself you can focus on building those relationships instead because that's what you're good at really and that's how you use a product strategy to grow your property consultancy.